Curious George and the Dump Truck by Margaret and H.A. Rays. Please like, share, and subscribe. I have to go to town, George, said the man with the yellow hat. You can come along. George and his friend got into their blue car and drove to town. On the way, they listened to the news on the radio. There has been a robbery at Gilbert's jewelry store, the announcer said. The robbers were seen driving away in a red van. George, said the man, I have to buy some nails. Wait for me in the car, but don't get into trouble. <laughs> some workmen with a big dump truck were fixing the holes in the street. At noontime, the men stopped for lunch. George got out of the car and climbed into the truck. He was curious. What were all those levers? He pulled one after another. Suddenly, the truck began to dump. It dumped sand all over the street. The sand spilled over a lady in a flowered hat. Oh, no. It spilled over a man with an umbrella. The people were angry. What's going on, they cried. Who's dumping all that sand? When the workmen returned from lunch, they saw the mess. Grab that monkey, one of them shouted. George was scared. Quickly, he ran up a telephone pole. No one could reach him there. The workmen began to shovel the sand back into the truck. Just then, a red van came around the corner. George heard a police siren. The police must be chasing someone. Maybe they were chasing George. He climbed down and ran to the dump truck. He crawled under the seat, but his foot hit the dumping lever again. And all the sand was dumped. The sand pile was so high that it blocked the road. George covered his head and waited for the police to take him away. But the police were not after George. They wanted the men in the red van who had robbed the jewelry store. The police caught the robbers and took them away. Now... George came out of his hiding place. You were a bad monkey, one of the workmen said. Hold it, said the policeman. He helped us catch the robbers. You're right, said the workman. You're okay, George. Let's shake hands. That night, they were watching TV. A little monkey saved the day. The 6 p.m. news report began. And once again, George was a hero. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you like that story. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.